The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United and they take on Fulham. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Mitrovic. And the emphasis is on creativity. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Just straying offside. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence and handed the task of playing up front today, Edinson Cavani. Harrison Reed, Mitrovic, and it's United's turn now. Greenwood. Mitrovic. Lukman. Lukman. And options in the center. Loftus cheek. Textbook defending inside the box. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes has it. More than decent this from United. Bruno Fernandes. Edinson Cavani now. Cavani. Shaw. Harry Maguire now. Precise ball movement. That's not a bad ball. Bruno Fernandes. Well read to put an end to that attack. No luck keeping possession. Greenwood Scott McTominay it's with McTominay Edinson Cavani now how about the cross McTominay can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say they're good value for the lead Well, here we we'll see it again, some lovely quality passing, fluid as you like, but as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible.
So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. Number seven, Edinson Cavani. Bobby Reid. Reid now. Well read to win possession back. Really well played pass. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? It's been a decent half for United. The coach still has some work to do at half-time, though. Ball retention has to improve a little bit in the second half if they're going to dominate. Possession could be key. Cavani! And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, a second goal for them here. Goal for Manchester United. Number seven, Edinson Cavani. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. And take it away. Greenwood. Marcus Rashford. Slipshod passing. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting Edinson Cavani really on top of his game in attack, Lee. Well, he's got so much swagger, hasn't he? Why not as well? As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. United enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Cavani. And moving the ball nicely. Fred. McTominay. On to Bruno Fernandes. Chance for Cavani. And still danger here. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Aina. Here's Adamola Lukman. Manchester United throw in here. Just going to be a double substitution. Juan Bisaka. Cavani good looking pass Scott McTominay and he read it well defensively bodies forward and the break looks on Tete Lemina Tete and Reed with it. There's plenty of know how in the ball shielding department. Retaining possession proving difficult. Bruno Fernandes. Cavani. It's a fine United move in the making. And he's broken free. Pulls it back. 
It needs an accurate cross. Juan Bisaka. This looks promising. He might be onto something. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. Here's a change for Manchester United. And over comes the corner. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Bruno Fernandes. Good defending to prevent the chance. Tete. Couldn't hang on to it. Oh, nice ball. Cavani. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Cavani. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And on the second half here, and it's almost, Lee, a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Well, for United, the creative teamwork has all come together tonight. The players are all on the same hymn sheet. The flow, the movement, it's been brilliant. Poor touch, and they no longer have custody of the ball. Donny van der Beek. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Replaced by number 31. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Bruno Fernandes. On to Van der Beek. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Juan Bisaka. Mastery of the passing game. Now he must favour the cross. It's opening up for them. Able to deal with the threat. Now, how about the short corner? Delivering it into the box. That is when your goalkeeper is worth his weight in gold. Well, he's earned his wages, hasn't he? He was in position, he had his focus. What a save. And firing it into the area. And able to close down the shot. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. No fans will be happy about that, Lee. Well, Derek, when the lead is extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. And for many people, Edinson Cavani is the complete striker. Lee, what did you make of his performance in this game? Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.